Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of PTI. Today, I'm here with Gus Moldner, myself, Clayson Richards, and Dylan Smith. Today, we will be talking about who we think the next Super Bowl matchup is going to be. So, I think that it's going to be the 49ers and the Bills. My reasoning behind that is 49ers have a lot of contests to other teams. They have Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, and, and Brock Purdy, if he even has to come in as a second-year man in the league. Bills are another story, though. They have Josh Allen, arguably one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Stephon Diggs, Devin Singletary, and a great defense to back them up. Dylan? Um, I'm going to be a little different. I think it'll be the Lions and the Jets. Li the Lions looked really good last year. Go uh, they, of course, didn't make the playoffs, but uh, they were close, much closer than they've been the last couple of years. I think Jared Goff is playing at the highest level in his career right now, and I think Amon Ross St. Brown is just an amazing player that just doesn't get the uh, credit that he deserves, and I think that that whole team together – can make something really special. And then with the Jets, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, he's won a Super Bowl. He's won multiple MVPs. He uh, has two of his former receivers with him, along with the uh, former uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year. And that defense is stellar. I mean, you have Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed just locking down at the corner. And I just think it, it'll come together as a Super Bowl contending team. Uh, I personally have the Jacksonville Jaguars and the San Francisco 49ers. Reason behind the Jacksonville Jaguars is I feel like their time has been needing to come. Buffalo seems like they're at the lowest point. I don't feel like they can make a Super Bowl run at it anymore with just the playoff disappoint disappointments enough and rumors that maybe Stephon Diggs will leave this uh, next offseason. And the Kansas City Chiefs, it's very hard for a team to run it back two years in a row. I mean, the last year, last time that's happened was with New England and Tom Brady back in the early 2000s. And um, the reason for the Bengals, it's I um, was in between the Bengals and Jaguars. Um, I believe there will be that AFC uh, championship match matchup this year. But um, I just had the Jags pulling out. And for the reason for the 49ers, like Gus said, with – their stacked defense and stacked overall offense. It's just the question mark at QB uh, on who exactly will be that guy. They, of course, haven't found that yet, but um, I think it will be a very uh, great Super Bowl matchup. Now, Gus, um, why do you, um, do you okay. like? Where do I even start with Dylan? The Lions, they barely made playoffs. They didn't even make playoffs. That Terrible pick right there. Amon Ra, I don't care how good he is, he is not making the playoffs with the Lions. Uh, they're going 8-9, and nine, okay? They're not doing good. And next, you pick the Jets. I don't care if Aaron Rodgers on that team. Packers had Aaron Rodgers, and they were not doing good. His chemistry, he complains a lot. The Jets, he's already complaining to him. He also already got an injury. What do you think about that? He is not complaining to the Jets, actually. He actually loves being there. He chose the Jets as a personal option, especially with Pat McAfee's show. Um, defense wins championships. You've heard that over and over again. Jets have the de has the defense to win a championship, which, I, of course, there's a lot of other teams in the NFC that has the defense to win championships. I don't think an AFC team has that defense besides the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I just think with Aaron Rodgers playing at the level as he always has, if he doesn't, if he stays healthy and the team rides that uh, that win that they had last year, with of course, if they had actually if they had Rodgers last year, they could have made a possible Super Bowl run with them as well. So I think I just think that the teams fit to win a Super Bowl, especially in a uh, conference with such good offense that they can match with their good defense. Now with the Lions, I, I just think that that offense is there. They drafted a great running back. They've, they've done amazing uh, putting together a team, especially Dan Campbell uh, at the helm. And uh, that, that defense is sneaky. Uh, n nobody really Defense gave up the defense. most points this year. I mean, defense. the defense is a question mark. But they uh, got some reinforcements over the uh, – over the year, I think they got C.J. Gardner-Johnson and have just stepped it up uh, defensively, and I think that they're, that they're at the point where they can make a push and definitely get to the Super Bowl. Respectfully, both okay. of you are wrong. So. Respectfully. Both of you are wrong. No, I'm not. You, you're, you're, picking you the, you're picking the choker bills? Oh, you yeah. being for real? Yes. You being for real right oh, yeah. now? 
after they just got okay, after the, they just the got Lions. spanked by the Bengals, huh? And the Lions, Lions, you know, the Lions were making the Super Bowl. I already knew they're that. not even making the playoffs. They're, probably, they're looking just looking for the next Barry Sanders. I don't. I don't. I don't. That's why they drafted a running back. That that division is yeah. Okay. Cut. All right, everyone. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up this episode of PTI. See you next. See time. you next time.